very many. And if it's however many times she has fallen off, I know she learned something from it and she's passing that knowledge on to other people so they don't fall off. How many times? Probably just once. And I think the horse learned its lesson after that. Um, it, it just kind of varies. I try real hard not to come off a horse just because it hurts. So I try to avoid those situations if at all possible. I don't know that I have any really good nicknames. You know, Shannon calls me CB sometimes. Um, when I was teaching high school ag, my kids would call me Miss B because my last name is Boxnick. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, I have two co-workers that call me shenanigans and I honestly don't know the story behind that, um, but I like it. I like it a lot. So my family, uh, some of my family calls me Shashat, and that comes from my aunt and my cousins used to call me that when I was little. And my siblings call me Shan Shan, and we, we just call each other little um, bits of, our, of each other's names. So I grew up in 4-H. Um, I went all the way through as a, as a kid. I was a 4-H leader. I also went to school to be an educator, so I have a, a bachelor's and a master's in education. Hopefully, I've turned in my paperwork to start a doctorate program, um, so we'll see how it goes. They kind of, of course, landed in and amongst all this COVID business, so we'll see how far along they are in processing those paperwork. So uh, my degree is in elementary education and then my master's degree is in rhetoric and writing and communication and I believe both of those really have helped me with this job. I have been part of a camp every year since I was nine years old. I grew up going to camp when I was younger um, and I would have stayed at camp all summer long if my family could have afforded it or if my mom would have let me. Um, so instead, I just grew up and I guess I just never left. And I, I, I used to play by the creek when I was a kid. So I've always enjoyed being outside and uh, showing others what is fun and unique about being outside. <laughs> so who celebrates the most? That is without a doubt. Phyllis, she celebrates Wednesday, she celebrates our interns, she celebrates uh, Boss's Day, um, she celebrates everybody for everything that she could possibly celebrate them for.